I will be providing an update in regards to Mr. Malik's homicide, which occurred on July 14th. In the early morning hours at approximately 9.27 a.m., Mr. Malik was shot and killed in front of his business at the Pyle Business Center in Surrey. Subsequently, I had to conduct of this investigation and with the public's assistance, we were able to identify and locate a suspect vehicle which fled from the scene. That suspect vehicle was a white Honda CRV. Through conventional investigative techniques and amazing police work, we were able to identify and arrest two suspects in relation to this homicide. Those two suspects being 21-year-old Tanner Fox and 23-year-old Jose Lopez, both from the Lower Mainland. Both of these individuals are known to police. Subsequently, we consulted with Crown Counsel and we were able to obtain charge approval for first degree murder in relation to Mr. Malik's homicide. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our support units that assisted us in this investigation. For the past 13 days, specifically Surrey Detachment Resources have been with us, supporting us along the way on this investigation. That's all I have for now. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. My name is uh, Brian Edwards. I'm Assistant Commissioner for Surrey RCMP. I'm the officer in charge of the detachment. <clears throat> I want to start by thanking our community. I want to thank the residents of Surrey. I thank you for your trust and your patience and your assistance in solving this matter. It's with the involvement of the public at all stages of investigations is how we solve crime. I must also mention the dedicated group of officers who leaned in working around the clock to resolve this matter. As a former officer in charge of the Lower Mainland integrated teams, I have to tell you how this works. Those teams are the best that we have in investigations. They're the absolute best. They come into the detachment and they work seamlessly with our teams. And it's through that collaboration that this matter was resolved. It's absolutely essential in solving crime in our communities. We've seen that here in Surrey. We've seen it in Langley. We've seen it in Chilliwack. And we've seen it in Whistler over the last two weeks. I can't thank these members enough for their experience, dedication, and expertise. Finally, I want to go back to this community. Your trust in the police tells me that you support us in getting this done. Cooperation of witnesses is essential. This is extremely important to us. And we're going to do everything we can to continue to keep this community and our residents safe. Thank you. Great question. Uh, yes, the investigation is ongoing. Uh, obviously, we're in the infancy of this investigation as it's only 13 days old. Uh, so there's many follow-up tasks to be completed. Um, can you tell us when and where these two were arrested? Uh, they were arrested yesterday. Um, Mr. Fox was arrested in Abbotsford and Mr. Lopez in New Westminster. I can't get into those details uh, as they are in front of the courts currently and uh, I don't want to taint some of that information in regards to their background so I'm not able to provide this at that time at this time uh, as I said it's an ongoing investigation and I think that'll be some of the follow-up uh, tasks that we have moving forward as that would lead to some of the evidence that is gleaned. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to get into that as that is part of the court process and that's where that information will. As it is an ongoing investigation, we're gonna follow the evidence and wherever that f evidence leads us is uh, where we'll go next. Are the suspects residents in Surrey or US 
Uh, Mr. Fox is a resident of Abbotsford. Mr. Lopez of New Westminster. I think that's going to be part of our ongoing tasks moving forward here, so I can't speak to that as I don't have that current information. Again, that would uh, refer to evidence, and I can't speak on that. Again, I think that would be part of our ongoing investigation. It's very difficult 13 days in, as these investigations sometimes takes years to develop. Uh, and that's why in these initial stages, uh, the swift reaction of all of our teams coming together was amazing work to identify these individuals and uh, charge them. Uh, moving forward is amazing work by our teams. I can't speak to that right now because that's part, part of our follow-up tasks for sure to identify that. We'll have time for one more question and then we'll go into... Uh, what, we'll see the control of this. Yes. What led to the first degree murder charge? On any first degree murder charge, it's the premeditation element that needs to be met, which was met by Crown Council. Uh, can you tell us that would refer to why, why it was a murder That would refer to evidence, and I can't speak to that. Okay, if there are any additional questions, I'd you want to answer it from Jabi, it will turn over to the detective. Uh, purple. When the superintendent Mukher said that he was very early in the investigation, he didn't know what he was doing. He didn't know That would be part of referring to our evidence, so, so I can't speak to that. No, we won't be able to release uh, photos of our suspects at this time. Uh, what we'll have ready for you is we'll be posting the news release uh, within minutes after this, and if anyone needs a printed copy, I'll uh, have it at the side there. If there's anything else, nothing else, thank you very much.